I want to thank the Casino Entertainment Awards and uh, GTE and everybody involved. My first order of business, of course, is uh, I'd like to um, thank my dear friend of 46 years, sorry to correct you, Mr. Rick Gray. Um, we met on our first day of undergraduate school, and I guess it's too late for either one of us to get a real job, so I um, love you, Rick. Um, legendary status is impressive. It's a lofty appellation, uh, though I'm reasonably certain that it's bestowed upon individuals that are usually much older than myself. That said, I remember my first trip to Las Vegas, which was in the summer of 1966, with a three-night stay at the Flamingo on the Strip. Uh, filing this under the heading of, he knew even then, uh, the headliner was Jack Jones. Uh, I'm pretty certain that no one ever starts out to be in the casino entertainment business. Uh, doctors, lawyers, accountants, they might know what they want to be when they grow up, but it's not the same for entertainment directors. Uh, that said, I've been in the entertainment industry in all my professional life, uh, and only divine providence has kept me from waiting tables and asking the age-old question, do you want fries with that? Uh, I've been extraordinarily blessed to work in some of the things that Rick mentioned, legit theater, theme parks. Uh, I've designed buildings all over the world uh, um, for venues, for performance. Um, and it's terrific that um, I've worked for MGM Grand, Harris, Caesars, Claridge, Bally, Boyd Gaming, Thunder Valley, The M, Rio, Sahara, Luxor, Resorts International, Foxwoods, Tropicana, Showboat, Silverton, and uh, even the plaza downtown. Uh, along the path of this wonderful and unexpected journey, I had the opportunity to partake in things I could never have imagined uh, would happen. Uh, and I had a way too much fun in the process as well. Uh, I've had drinks, lots of drinks, too many drinks, with the uh, late great comic Buddy Hackett. Um, in fact, there was enough drinks to make him get crocked and go on for the second show. Uh, I've gotten towels for Frank Sinatra and Steve Wynn when I had the good fortune to work for the production company that uh, shot the Golden Nugget commercials all those many years ago. Uh, as Rick mentioned in Reno, I was at the controls of Hello Hollywood Hello when a mechanical glitch closed the rain trough doors and let everybody ringside be drowned in two feet of water when it just cruised off the front edge of the stage. Um, uh, and one of the weird ones, I had a serious discussion with the fellow who was then the president of the Riviera before it was sold, uh, closed and sold for the LVCVA room, uh, and which point he was lamenting the fact that um, they did not have a proper strip entrance for vehicular traffic. Uh, so as he was talking about the rear entry experience, it took everything I could muster to keep a straight face. Um, uh, a personal favorite was um, uh, an Atlantic City story. We had presented Mr. Gene Kelly um, for a while, and uh, after a show one night, he was not ready to go to bed, so he wanted some milk and Oreos, and there we were driving down to a Wawa on Pacific Avenue, sitting on the hood of the car, having milk and cookies. So, um, on a, a more serious note, I, I'm thankful to have gotten into the business on the cusp of what I like to call the golden age, with folks that um, literally are timeless and are legends. Um, there were many mentors and, and helpers along the way. Some of the ones that have passed and are no longer with us, I'm sure many people in this room may know this list of names. I'll just run through it. These are all people who are uh, important and of great stature in Vegas. Um, Mr. Bill DeAngelis, Frank Brill, Alan Bregman, Steve Blank, Joe Layton, Larry Lee, Lee Solomon, Peter Jackson, Peter Gennaro, Terry Little, Jimmy Brennan, Don Arden, Marty Charnin, Joe Guercio, Freddie Apcar, Joe Esposito, Al Benedict, Fred Benninger, uh, and Lenny Miller, just to, just to name a few. Um, then, of course, there are those that are part of the entertainment landscape today, uh, whether they're hotel owners, casino executives, performers, presenters, writers, producers, designers, all are stewards of our business. I, I'm very proud and excited to be an integral part of the Venetian Palazzo and President George Marcantonis' team, who's sitting here tonight. Thanks. Along with the Venetian Palazzo Senior VP of Operations, Pete Boyd, our Chief Marketing Officer, Marcy Miles, and our Head of Facilities, Mr. Kim Grange. Um, our history is part of the legend and lore of Las Vegas. 
uh, and our cutting edge future entertainment endeavors like the 17,000 seat MGM sphere at the Venetian is just one of the ways that we'll help keep that active and carry that legacy into tomorrow. George, thanks so much for letting me be part of your team at Venetian Palazzo. I cherish the Venetian family and everything that you and the team does. Um, before I go, I just want to leave you with some words from a man I met several times, but sadly never had the opportunity to work with. Uh, he is a giant in the industry, a man that garnered 54 Tony Award nominations and won 21 of them, more than anyone else in history. Uh, his name was Hal Prince, and he said, the perfect expression for receiving a Lifetime Achievement Award is to be working when they're handing it out. <laughs> Thank you and good night.